to culminate things in a little bit of an orderly manner, um, uh, there was this Reddit post on, uh, and don't, trust me, this isn't like, I am a Redditor, I am posting a leak, this, uh, tr uh, <laughs> trust me, that's not it. Basic things here are is that there's somebody on, there was two insiders, um, by, what was it, this guy called, uh, Jez Corden, who is a, um, who, who has been a uh, insider in, in in the past and who has uh, ha who has some info on on just gaming things in general and so he replied to Max and he said I think you'll find out more next month when Max was talking about MK12 and waiting for MK12 things to come out so that was the first thing that came out and then apparently somebody right here during the Xbox era podcast episode um, whoever the fuck however how the fuck you spell that name, uh, pronounced that name, said that he heard MK12 would be announced at the next PlayStation Showcase. So let's watch that real quick. Too late for them to pull it before I say anything. A couple of people in the chat that day guessed that. Everyone was like, GTA 6. It's not GTA 6. That's not the game I was told anyway. I'm not saying GTA 6 won't be there, but that's not the game I was told. There was another third-party game I was told would be at that show. I mean, Spider-Man 2 is obvious. In terms of first party, Spider-Man Two, I'd, I'd be, you know, Spider-Man Two should be at the PlayStation Showcase. Factions has got uh, to be there, surely. You'd think so. I got told Spider-Man Two, and that's a uh, duh, that's like an obvious one. Of course, Spider-Man Two is going to be there. But the third party game, big shocker. Can I just say it and take the gamble of like them pulling. Do it, it motherfucker. I mean, is it exclusive or is it just we're going to no, debut it's it a here? Third party game. It's a third party cares. game. I'll say it. Oh, it's Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat 12. 12. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Right, the game's yeah. like... right. Just we're gonna no, debut it's it a here. Third party game. It's a third party game. I'll say it. Oh, I got told that Mortal Kombat 12 is supposed to be there. I mean, it makes sense. The Get game's slot. supposed to come this year. Supposed yes. to be launching yeah. this fall. Where else would you reveal it? Right. Uh, I don't know. I just... Well, no. I mean, they literally the the CEO literally said on their financial call. Uh -huh. That's true. That it's coming this year. Coming this yeah. year. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. So, yeah, so apparently so we're getting two we're getting two industry insiders here that are saying that you're going to find out about Mortal Kombat 12 stuff next month and next month is the month of May. And May is also supposed to be the um the PlayStation showcase. Um the PlayStation Showcase, he's saying, is safe to say is going to happen in May. Um, that's just what I have listed here. The PlayStation Showcase, still hear that's coming. I, I would I would probably safely say that's that's May at this point. But yeah. So it's going to be at May, um, and but we don't know the specific date of the tr of when that's going to be happening. We don't know the announcement of that. There are rumors saying that it's going to be on uh, May twenty fifth. And May 25th is right before Combo Breaker. And Combo Breaker, I think, is on May 26th. Yeah, May 26th. So it would be right before Combo Breaker. I don't know if... I, I would just find it a little bit weird to have Mortal Kombat just announced right before then. Um, it would just be a little bit weird. But, I mean, if that's the case, that's the case, you know? Uh, again, I don't really, I, I can't really say f definitively that 12 is going to be announced at the PlayStation Showcase um, May 25th. It's very possible that the Mortal Kombat uh, 12 trailer is going to be happening before that. And then with the PlayStation State of Play, with the showcase that they're going to have, they're going to have gameplay there. That's where they're going to show gameplay. And, but it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense that I would see them being... Uh, I could see them announcing it at the state of play. And then uh, more gameplay stuff at Summer Game Fest. That happens literally next the next the following month. Um, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, again, I'm not going to say anything definitively. But I do... Again, like I said, my standard is that if I'm talking about a rumor... It's a rumor... If I'm talking about a rumor... It's a rumor that I feel like has really good legitimacy to it. I don't talk about fake leaks. I don't talk about fake rumors. I don't do that shit on this channel. You guys know that. But this is... This is something. You know, when two people are saying the same thing, who, are, who have credibility to their name, uh, you can't really... You know, you can't really say, everything's fake. Lol. Can't do that.
But there was another thing that I wanted to also go over as well, and that was, um, I don't have it here. Let me bring it up. That was uh, Tanya being added into Mortal Kombat Onslaught. Now, Mortal Kombat Onslaught, again, is a mobile game, a, a RPG mobile game for the game. And the whole, um, the whole thing with Onslaught is that a lot of the characters that are in the game right now are using their 11 models. But Tanya just got added into the game. And Tanya... Th I, I don't... This isn't a really good screenshot. Let me try to... Uh, where is it? Right here. Here is a good model. This is a custom model, by the way. Tanya's model is different from her ex. Now, her design, her costume is the same... A little bit of difference, but it's basically the same. But her model is different from X. This is not an 11 model, this obviously. And this is not an X model. They look similar, I know, because of the design. But, they look, but they're not the same. So, there also is... There also is... Uh, the, her audio got leaked as well. Me. I'll take you. No one bests me. I'll take your life. Do not task me. Welcome to my world. I gotta admit, I don't like it. Um, I don't like it because Jennifer Hale's voice was perfect for the character. And this sounds too old for Tanya. Like, Tanya is... Tanya is this very, very sexually manipulative person and i don't think this sounds like it you know uh i don't like it it's not a good voice um i feel bad for shitting on the voice actress whoever it is because they probably did the best they they could but for the character that they're portraying it's not it's not good it's not good and uh she just sounds angry yeah it, it, she sounds not good um a lot of people have been saying this could be a placeholder or a, this could be a, like, it, it's not her real voice. If she were to be in 12, this is not her real voice. But you also have to remember, guys, when Mortal Kombat 11 was coming out and Mortal Kombat Mobile was getting updates, Jade was put into the game before, thank you for subscribing, I appreciate it. Jade was put into the game before Eleven was ever was ever going to be announced. Like it was long before Eleven was ever announced. Before we even saw gameplay for Eleven, and Jade was added into MK Mobile, and her voice actress and the voice lines in Jade in it, her voice, the voice lines for Jade in MK Mobile ended up being her voice actress, or ended up being the same voice lines that were used for Eleven. So. We're seeing the same situation here with Tanya with Mortal Kombat Onslaught, which is a new, again, a new mobile game for Mortal Kombat. And Mortal no Kombat 12 is, uh, I Mortal Kombat 12 is the next game. And so when you have a new model for Tanya added into a game where all the models are from 11, and you have a new voice actress, you're getting a sense of deja vu. Where you got the same thing with Jade and MK Mobile before MK11 came out, where Jade's voice actor uh, vo voice lines got leaked, and they ended up being the same voice lines that were used in 11. Obviously, is not 100% confirmation of Tanya, because 100% confirmed to use the word confirmed means official. It is not official. It is not official. There's a very very high chance that Tanya is in 12. There's a very high chance that Tanya is in 12. And also, we're, it looks like we might be getting a reveal of MK12 at the PlayStation Showcase. Or in general, uh, sometime next month. And we're going to be here on this channel covering the PlayStation Showcase. We'll be here if it doesn't happen to the PlayStation Showcase and it happens before anyways. But definitely stay tuned because it's looking like it's going to be May. I would be shocked if it happened sometime at the end of this month because we're already at the end of the month. But multiple people, credible people, are saying May. I'm not gonna give, and I'm not gonna say specific dates here because that's not what I do. Because I don't have any information. 
I'm hearing 25th, but we don't know for sure. But we're hearing May. And so, yeah, I think May is going to be the date where we get uh, Mortal Kombat 12 stuff. Um, and in the meantime, we just have to wait. But at least we have more of a clear picture of when 12 is going to, to happen. Like I said, I don't cover leaks uh, that, are, that I think are fake. I don't cover rumors that I think are bullshit. I cover rumors and I talk about rumors that I think have good legitimacy to them. And so remember, if I talk about something, if I talk about a rumor, if I talk about a leak, unless it's an unethical leak, like somebody legitimately is like leaking all of Mortal, like they legit, legitimately leak all of MK12. I'm obviously not going to show that on screen because that's that would be disrespectful. But like, you know, generally when you... Generally, with this kind of stuff is what I mean. When this stuff happens, and I talk about it, I'm telling you guys, here are some things that you guys can probably take as legitimate. Set some realistic expectations. <laughs>